a big project necessarily that I'm working on. I have more, a lot of cleanup that needs to happen. Although I should probably still be working out in the front garden getting that ready. I really need to get this back garden cleaned up and ready for our fall crops that we have going in the greenhouse that we've talked about. So today's mostly gonna be cleaning up things that I need to you know, pull some grass out and get plants that are kind of dying. And just, that's about it. I need to stake up some more pepper plants. I wanna show you guys something that's kind of cool. Cool to me anyway. The pumpkin spice peppers are starting to turn. I'm excited. I haven't tried these yet, so, but I love that color. It's really pretty. So part of the growing season, we always know that things end up dying. It's kind of sad, you know, like these peppers that we've been so excited about that you guys have heard me talk about way more than you probably care to. But the bell peppers, some of them are still looking fantastic. Got some peppers growing, the leaves look beautiful. Some of them are looking like this. It's a little bit sad to me because I think a little part of my soul dies the first time I have to go buy peppers at the store. But we've had quite a few and hopefully we'll still have some more growth out of the ones that are still doing good. Part of me isn't that upset because when we decided to put these peppers here, we really blocked our only access to one of our next big projects that I'm really looking forward to. So as soon as those peppers are out of the way, We can start working on that project, so you'll have to just hang on for that one. Some of this is still growing pretty good. The ground cherries, they're still growing, but they're really, we're really getting past the season for those, and I really need to kind of start with a clean slate, plus it's getting hard to clean around them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out so I just get everything ready for our fall garden, for the fall crops that we're putting in. So even though it may not seem like there's anything wrong with these, they're just, we're kind of past that season. If I pull them out, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to take care of everything else here and get the bed that we're wanting prepared.
All right, you can see back here where I've been working. Got all those ground cherries and all the other ground or grass ground cover, everything that we had that was growing up in there out of the way so we can start getting that ready for the fall garden. Um, most of the mess is cleaned up. I still have to rake up all of these. <laughs> Some of them are probably really good. We could eat them. I'll give a bunch to the chickens and no matter how hard I try, I'm not gonna get them all cleaned up. I've heard some people complain that they think that ground cherries are kind of invasive and I guess that's just a matter of perspective. They will grow back. Whatever's left here, we're going to have it again. We planted them the first two years we had them and after that we haven't had to plant them because they just come back on their own. And uh, I mean, I guess depending on the type of garden you have and whether you don't like things popping back up that could seem invasive to you, for me it's just... Um, you know, extra prop, extra crops that I didn't have to plant. So volunteer plants are always stronger and I really don't mind them coming back and they're really easy to pop out if they come up somewhere I don't want them. So I don't mind them being here, but for the sake that this is gonna be our fall bed, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up most of them. <laughs> It'll never fail though, I'll lose, I'll miss some and we'll have more coming up soon. That's fine with me. Anyway, as you can see, I got that area cleaned out. It's looking much 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 better i'm going to try to get these peppers staked up like i talked to you about a minute ago but i think i have some rain coming in so i'll just have to get as much done as i can before i start getting wet <laughs> so time to get on the peppers i'm going to show you guys really quick how i stake up our peppers i just used some bamboo cut it to the length i need it's really easy, it's cheap. I don't worry about buying anything too expensive. These we had laying around the house already, so I just use them anytime I need to stake something up, just give it a little extra support. We have a good problem. So many peppers and jalapenos that they're not standing up very well on their own. <laughs> anyway, I just cut that to size. Stick it on whatever side the plant's needing a little support. And then we use these, if I can get to focus for you plant ties. I mean, they're literally just like bread ties, but we'll put a link in there so that you can um, get some if you need them. They're really inexpensive. Just very easy to tie something up really quick. And I'll just use one or two depending on how much support the plant's needing. I literally just twist it to that little bamboo stake that I just made. There's really nothing to it give them a little support all right we do have a chance of rain it looks like it's missing me for now but because it's coming I'm gonna hurry really quick and get as much of this done and just see if there's anything else I have time to clean up before the rain beats me I just kind of wanted to work today it's only 83 it feels nice so it's one of those days where I got motivated but it's cool because the rain's coming so I'm gonna hurry up and I will talk to you guys next time bye